Welcome back. We just heard McCoy say that Spock is getting worse, which hopefully I left in the last video and didn't forget about and edited it out. If you did, feel free to yell at if I did feel free to yell at me. So yeah, we should probably get a move on and find a cure for this virus. Because things will not end well for our science officer otherwise. And this machine may be of some help. First, however, let's see if there's anything in this supply closet. There's something. A small field effect anti-gravity unit useful for moving things too heavy to lift and carry by muscle alone. Alright, that sounds like it could be useful. Nothing to report, Captain. So let's take you it. Take the anti-grav unit. See if we need to move anything heavy. Um, that's not what I want to do. I'll look at it. Weak muscles. Scrawny security officers can't budge equipment. No problem. Just use this handy anti-grav unit. Okay. Got an extra insult for the security officers here. Let's see what we can do with this machine. Currently, it has H2 and O2 tanks. Uh, attached, so based on what Spock said, this will either make water or hydrogen peroxide. Probably water, because I think that's the easier one to form. Nothing happens. And nothing happens, which I believe is because the gas leads are turned off. I fail to see the lot. I fail to see the logic in and it's like, I can never remember how you turn them on. The can looks much too heavy to carry, sir. Yeah, we already knew you uh, were a a scrawny um, security officer who couldn't carry anything. The narrator told us that. There is nothing at the moment for me to do there. I think we need something to turn those on, unfortunately. So I guess we can't do anything with this machine right now. All right, let's check out this door then. Wait, could we look at that door? No, the game does not want me to stop walking. Um, and another interesting looking room. This is a research lab with lots of expensive equipment. I guess this may be where they were investigating the Ouroboros virus. This is a large refrigeration unit. This is a research lab. This is a distillator used to isolate specific compounds from raw material. Interesting. <coughs> yep, he's just gonna keep doing that once every while. A device to accelerate neutrinos. Not much good for anything else. Well, if I have any neutrinos to accelerate, I'll let you know. This chamber is where virus samples are placed. This nozzle is where anti-agents are placed. Looks like that's a device to test anti-agents for the virus. Which uh, we will be using once we, you know, have anti-agents to test. And also have uh, a sample of the virus to test it on. James Tiberius Kirk. Mr. Spock is thinking about chemical formulas. Ensign Ferris doesn't know much about chemical formulas. It's not his job, so... Dr. McCoy is thinking about chemical formulas. Alright, so they're both thinking about chemical formulas. Good to know. Are you going to talk about chemical formulas? When you're finished admiring all the equipment bones, maybe you can help us figure out what's going on here. This is a very well-equipped laboratory, Captain. Perhaps Dr. McCoy could be of some use here. I guess it's a medical lab. I don't know what the neutrino accelerator would be for in that case, but whatever. This level appears deserted, sir, but I'm worried about a Romulan counterattack. They outnumber us. That would be a problem. Jim, this lab is incredible. What I wouldn't give to have some of this equipment on the Enterprise. 
I'm sure you would. Can you do anything with anything? Actually, let's uh, see if we can get some tricorder readings or anything first. There are multiple culture samples of the virus within the freezer, Captain. Okay, well, we need those. It is a standard research lab. Nothing to report, Captain. Residue of a viral agent is still within the chamber. Because that's where you play samples. Nothing to report. It is a standard re Nothing to report, Captain. You can't scan the ladder. Okay. This is a large engineering safety door with heavy shielding. Its entry codes seem to be breached. So they're everywhere, is what the computer's telling us. Or the narrator, I guess. This is an access ladder. It appears to lead to the next deck below. If memory serves... Save new game. Replace delete per cancel. Delete per replace previous game. I hate this save interface. Did I already mention that? I think I did. Uh, I believe that that ladder is um, somewhat dangerous. He looks at you with a... I just wanted to walk he over there. He looks at you with a... Okay, we can send him to the ladder. <laughs> wow, we managed to yell after being vaporized. That is honestly kind of impressive. Yep, wretch your death in this mission too. I think... Yeah, it is possible to just walk past there and have them miss you. So you can find that out without dying. <laughs> so yeah, let's not go there. Romulan is laying in wait down below. Means we should not go there. Let's um, open the refrigerator. And get one of those virus samples. This refrigerator has a number of specimen dishes inside. Can you, like, learn anything more about them? Nothing to report, Captain. Maybe with the medical tricorder. There's nothing there requiring a ship's doctor. Um, actually there is, but sure. You take the Ouroboros virus culture. And let's be nice and close the freezer. Um, can we talk to the ship in this mission? Kirk to Enterprise. Kirk to Enterprise. Nothing to report, Captain. Kirk out. We can, but it's not useful, as usual. Um, the virus culture we can place in here. And then McCoy can use his machine. I certainly see nothing there. We have to attach something to the nozzle first. But we need an anti-agent to test with, which we don't have right now. So, let's uh, continue exploring. As much as this looks like a door, I do not believe you can head south from here. You can, however, the go here. The has spread to me, Captain. I suggest you concentrate your efforts on the problem. What the? That was weird. <laughs> I don't know if the weird speech, uh, the text box there was supposed to be indicative of the... Of Spock having the virus, or if that was just a glitch. A little here, a little there, maybe. Hey, a wrench. It's a standard adjustable metric socket wrench. Well, at least it's a metric wrench. It is the 21st century, after all. This is the engineering center for the Arc 7 space station. Anything interesting here? Turbines of a Cochrane 500 class fusion drive, manufactured over a century ago on Alpha Centauri. I didn't realize that they use these old fusion reactors anymore. Actually, Doctor, as Mr. Scott would tell you, the Cochrane 500 is renowned for its reliability and perfectly suited for a station of this size. Hey, this thing's real old, isn't it? Were you, were you paying attention to that conversation at all? 
turbans of a cock. I didn't realize. Actually, all right. Hey. S- same description. All readings are normal. The narrator does not feel the need to point out. Kirk is looking closely at the equipment. McCoy is fidgeting around. At least he's not called. Lieutenant Ferris is carefully watching the hallway. Spock is analyzing the surroundings. Not an awful lot of uh, really uh, diverse crew messages in this uh, mission, are there? This is a screen and filter for the ventilation shaft. This is a service access panel permitting used up or worn materials to be replaced. All right. At least all this equipment appears to be operating. Yeah, because if we didn't have power, that might be a problem. Oh, the station's fusion reactor. Very nice. What are we going to tour next? The ventilation system? Well, you say that, but <laughs> that is what this vent is for. Sir, I'll watch the door so we don't get cornered. Captain, the fusion reactor doesn't seem to have been tampered with. I suggest we leave the controls as they are. All right, so let's not worry about that. Nothing unusual is detected. The fusion reactor is functioning at peak efficiency. There is no need to tamper with its current operation. Nothing to report. Nothing to report. Nothing to report. Nothing to report. Didn't think so, but still gonna try. All right, let's get that wrench. That's what we need to open those gas valves, I believe. You pick up a large wrench. This looks like a primitive 20th century wrench still used by people who like to do things the old fashioned way. Like Dr. McCoy, I guess. Not that I think he would need a wrench in his line of work, at least I would hope not. What's in here? The panel opens. You see a gas tank labeled N2 with its feed lines running deeper into the wall. Indeed, it is a tank of nitrogen. And now it should be uh, fairly obvious that... Uh, uh, why the computer contained those descriptions of gases because it's all the gases we can make with the synthesizer because now we have N2, H2, and O2 so we can indeed make uh, ammonia, nitrous oxide, and water alright, let's get that tank the tank is large and heavy with its feed lines firmly attached and our scrawny security officer can't carry it he looks at you with a he looks at you with a putt. I think we have to detach the feed lines first. The tank detaches easily. I guess this made it easier to replace the tank every so often, eh, Captain? I guess so. We still can't take it, though. He looks at you with a... The tank is too heavy to move by muscle alone. Which is what the anti-grav unit is for. You attach the anti-grav unit to the gas tank. It can be moved freely. It sure beats hauling it around on our back, sir. And apparently it fits in our pockets with the anti-grav unit attached, so that's helpful. You need something to pry this open. Can I use a wrench for that? Yep. The vent is now open. It leads to the lower deck. This is a vent shaft that leads to the lower level. Interesting, and we know that that's where the uh, Romulans are. I don't think we can go through the vent, though. The shaft is too small to crawl through. Nope. But we may be able to put something else in there. Um, where is something else we need here, I think? We use this panel. Nothing unusual. I fail to see the... You fail to obtain... 
Oh wait, yeah, this is what we need. This is an engineering access panel allowing repairs to be made to the interior wiring in the equipment. I knew there was something. You need something to pry this open. Oh, this wrench is uh, being very multifunctional. Good thing it was here. The panel is open. You see vast quantities of dust and stripped insulation from wiring repairs made to the console in the past. You grab a handful of insulation. Indeed. And we uh, know from the computer that um, materials from wire insulation could be used to create that TLTDH gas that is a, uh, an aesthetic for Romulans and Vulcans. So if we put that in the ventilation system, perhaps we can knock them out, allowing us to go to the lower levels. Um, try quarter the wire? No. Wiring repair jobs sometimes make a mess. This insulation was left over from someone who thought their repair is good enough. Indeed. The uh, raw wires won't help us that much, though. We need to um, distill the material from it, which we do with the uh, material distillator, strangely enough. Wait, did I ever actually try quarter these things? A cryogenic no, basic not. compound distillator. Excellent piece of equipment for reducing complex materials to their basic compounds. A Hawking neutrino accelerator. It is one of the finest in production today. Named after Stephen Hawking, I would assume. We have distilled a quantity of polybaryl carbonate. Indeed. And that we can use to make TLTDH gas. And I believe we just need to use the uh, material we got. Um on here nothing happens oh wait we still need the gas tanks to be open so yeah let's use the wrench this kind of like it doesn't really say that that's something that you, you can look even but do see this is a science lab this is a synthesizer used to combine and yeah, it doesn't tell you that it is even something you can do, or that that's why nothing happens. So it's kind of one of the harder things to figuring out. Gas feed is on. And you need to do it on both of them. Gas feed is off. Or not. Gas feed is on. I guess you only need to do it on one of them. The machine synthesizes one liter of TLTDH gas. An unusual compound, Captain. It can induce laughter and feelings of exhilaration in some, much the way nitrous oxide affects humans. It doesn't affect Vulcans, of course. Actually, Doctor, both Romulans and Vulcans suffer its effects. Why, that's just dandy. Vulcan laughing gas. Please, Doctor, this is not a laughing matter. Um, actually, it is. This is the door to the synth. In principle, Captain, this device. Next, he'll tell. Compared to me, I rest. Okay. I'm starting to look at the actual bottle, but. You take a one liter container of TLTDH gas. I think. I actually think you Save can do this without game. penalty, but still. Re delete, cancel. Oh. Replace. Pre A loud hissing fills the room. I believe that doing that will um, 
lead to Mr. Spock to be a little bit more uh, funny <laughs> the rest of the mission. Spock is analyzed. This is an outstanding facility, Captain. Was it not? Am I misremembering this? A loud hissing fills the room. All right, no indication that anything actually happened. It's not actually a problem if you do that, though. I know you can do it with the nitrous oxide, but... I may have been wrong with that one, because you can just go back, grab some more insulation. You grab a handful of insulation. And... Make some more. Oh, wait. I forgot you need to distill the thing first. I'm just leaving this in the case Spock does have some funny moments if you did that. I'm not entirely sure quantity of if that happens. But in case it does, we want to um, see those, of course. So let's make some more TLTDH for use. Why do they call you Bones, Doctor? The machine synthesizes one liter of TLTDH gas. An unusual compound, Captain. It can it does We've seen this. actually Why that's just please, Doc. I think the that particular comment may have been something he would not have said if we uh, hadn't opened the gas canister. You take a one liter container of TLTDH gas. All right. With nothing in there, though, we uh, can just combine the gases. So now that the valves are open, we should be able to use logic. this. What happened to my logic? I was right. The machine synthesizes a liter of pure water. A clean drink of water, but I don't see its application in the context of our difficulties, Captain. Indeed, you might not think it's useful, but it is. Game over. Load a previously saved game. Okay, so apparently it's not a good idea to <laughs> release the TLTTH gas. Good thing we didn't really do anything other than, you know, walk back and forth and make more of this stuff. That was sudden. Alright, so let's not open the canister of TLTTH gas. I guess it causes him to pass out. At least we know it will do the same to the, uh, um, to the Romulans, then. We do, however, still want to make water. The machine synthesizes a liter of pure water. A clean drink of water, but I don't see its application in the context. Let's get that. You take a one liter container of pure water. This blue container holds one liter of water. They're helpfully color-coded. This container contains tantalum bilithium thalodihydroxide, the infamous Romulan laughing gas. Is it really infamous? All right, um, we can make more gases with this contraption. We just need to replace the uh, gas containers. So for example, if we, um, we need to always use the anti-grav unit to do that. We can remove the O2. I would not recommend removing the canister without turning off the valve. Of course. Why would you make this easy on us? Gas feed is off. That's the sound it makes when I use a wrench. All right, let's you get the... You attach the, the anti-grav unit to the gas tank. It can be moved freely. 
how it's now apparently attached to both gas tanks, I don't know. But well, let's replace the oxygen tank with the nitrogen tank. You install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. And um, open the valve again. Gas feed is on. And um, let's make some ammonia. The machine synthesizes a liter of ammonia. I hope you don't want me to swab the deck with that, Captain. I think we can set this aside and not worry about it. Okay, sure. This is the door to the synthesis chamber. In principle, can I keep trying to make I rest. I keep trying to look at the containers and it does not work. You take a one liter container of ammonia. No point in uh, opening that one. This blue gray container holds one liter of ammonia. And the last gas we can make is um, nitrous oxide. Game over. Load a previously saved game. Um. Okay. I think the problem actually is that we are running out of time on the uh, virus, which has actually never happened to me before on this particular mission. So, that's not fun. Which I guess means that we could have uh, opened the TLTDH before. Alright, uh, let's see how I'm going to do this. I guess I need to uh, figure out how to get this virus cured before Spock collapses. But I guess we'll do it in the next video.